Well, the best way to summarize that is to explain that the Governor General is um, the constitutional head of state, most emphatically not the head of government. Uh, equally emphatically, the Prime Minister is head of government and most emphatically not the head of state. And since the function of head of government head of state is bifurcated, um, it sort of is logical to conclude that all matters ceremonial, formal, are carried out by the uh, Governor General. The um, evolution, though, of the past 150 years is that the formal executive as referred to in the Constitution, now that we have a written Constitution since 1982. We didn't before, that's another long story. Um, the function of the Governor General is, as the formal executive, to act on the advice of the democratically elected uh, head of government. And everything is fine and clear and simple and logical if you believe in democracy and uh, responsible government which we do. Where the problem can arise is when we get into the area of matters other than policy and legislation, but rather into the area of uh, process, procedure, ground rules of fair play between both sides of Parliament. There's where the Governor General has to occasionally make decisions that are not based on advice rather based on, quote, suggestion from the Prime Minister and based on his own, the Governor General's own, his or her own uh, judgment and conscience. And that can be a little thorny from time to time. Um, the practice in Canada is for the Prime Minister of the day to recommend when the term expires of the incumbent Governor General to recommend a name um, actually three names to the Queen in Westminster in England and uh, of the three names she's expected to pick one. Now whether that's still the case or whether that is uh, no longer the case I'm not in a position to say but certainly the Queen does make the announcement so even to this day. Were you surprised when you got the uh, telephone call from whomever the Prime Minister? Well yes I got the call from the Prime Minister. Uh, we had a very uh, a very late lunch together. I jumped on a plane and had lunch with the Prime Minister Trudeau and um, just to see if there were some totally different ideas or concepts about the office and the role and function of the Office of Governor General. There wasn't so, uh, it was, relatively easy decision because by then I had been in elective public office for 21 years and I was frankly uh, burnt out a little at the grand old age of 42.